You've seen this portable balancer featured on the channel before. Analog infrared sensor, analog accelerometer. Meet its small digital cousin. Digital infrared sensor, digital accelerometer. As long as you can measure the vibration, and you can synchronize it to a spot, you can balance. That's smooth. I'm going to bring that up to 90 kilometers an hour. You know, that feels pretty good. Now I would be remiss to tell you that dynamic balancing work is easy. And I would be doing you no favors to tell you that it was difficult. It's a skill and it can be acquired. Either one of these units are capable of on-site, in-position, dynamic balancing. But this is not only a more compact build, in many respects it's an easier build. It's not based on a full-fledged HS402 circuit. It's based on the hs dash ACC platform. That's just straight up solder iron work where we solder the headers to the PCB. No intimidating SMD components. It's a 1000 milliamp lithium pouch with a charge controller nestled in here behind the battery. But this digital infrared sensor needs more than 3.7 volt. So also nestled in here is a boost converter. This sweet little module which is capable of boosting up to 12 volt. Really nice. These little switches are easily found online and they have a flange which is bent back here and it tucks into this little cat detail and it barely protrudes above the surface here. I'm really pleased with the detail here. The connections between all of these modules is fairly straightforward and outlined in this diagram. The ADXL345 digital accelerometer is housed in here. You know this translucent filament is starting to grow on me. It allows LED activity to shine through without fanfare. Pretty nice. And this LED activity is very useful also. When I introduced Martin Lawrence HS-AC project, I told you that it was a platform awaiting our implementation to meet our dynamic balancing and vibration analysis needs. This is my third such implementation. You'll remember the two-plane dynamic balancer and the three-axis Wi-Fi accelerometer. All files and build info are shared in the description. The STL files are my creation. The Gerber files are Martin Lawrence creation. Show the channel a little bit of love. Subscribe, like, and be well guys in these uncertain times.